All right, hello once again, Jeff Scott of Rankin Technical College, and as part of the Rankin Technical College, AWD or Application and Web Development 1100 C Sharp Programming Class, I've been creating a series of videos that are uh, mostly based on the PowerPoint slides for the textbook for the class, that being Murox C Sharp 8th Edition. I've also been doing some work on a payroll program that has transitioned into an employee program. So we're on chapter 15 of 22, how to work with interfaces and generics. And at least my hope is this is going to be a short lecture. Our objectives, use .NET interfaces as you develop the classes for an app, develop and use your own interfaces, distinguish between an interface and an abstract class, Describe the use of the .NET iClonable, iClonable T, and I enumerable T interfaces. In general terms, describe the use of default methods as well as static fields and methods and interfaces. In general terms, describe the use of generic interfaces. Now, I'm going to start by showing you something that's not in the book, and that is this. that um, if I create a class, so let's say that we create a class here and we call it, um, I'm gonna make two of them. I'm just gonna call them class A and class B. All right, now what I wanna do is I wanna create a class C, but I want it basically to have some parts of class A in some parts of class B. So I want it to inherit from both A and B. And I'm telling you, that's not possible. Because C Sharp only allows what's referred to as single inheritance. You can only inherit from one class. How do you get around that? That's where interfaces come in. Because although you can only inherit from one class, you can inherit from as many interfaces as you want to or need to inherit from. So they start here by basically having an iDisplayable interface here, all right? And I think what they're doing is they're using the display text, all right? And they're working on it from there. And there's the iDisplayable right there. Now, I'm going to show you something later, the way that I typically use interfaces. Not the only way they can be used, but the way I typically use them. We're going to get to that in just a bit. Now, here's a comparison between interfaces and abstract classes. And notice both can provide signatures for properties and methods that a class must implement. So, in other words, the idea for creating either one of those is so that other classes will be able to use them. Both interfaces and abstract classes can implement some or all of their properties and methods. An abstract class can use instance variables and constants, whereas an interface can only use static variables and constants. And I'm gonna use constants for mine in just a bit. All right. A class can inherit only one class, but it can implement more than one interface. Now, when you implement an interface, it looks just like you're inheriting it. It uses a uh, colon. And I believe you have to put your class, if you're going to inherit from a class, you've got to put that first, and then you can put in any interfaces that you're inheriting from. Okay, I should say are implementing. All righty. All right, they, they go through a bunch of different examples in here. And like I said, this is going to be a short interface. I'm sorry, short lecture. I'm sorry, it's getting late already. I've been doing this all day. All right, there are built-in interfaces in C-sharp. There's a clonable, 
and there's other ones as well. Okay, so notice if you're going to have multiple ones here, you separate them with commas. So this book inherits from product and implements iClonable and iDisplayable. Now, it's kind of a common practice that if you are going to use interfaces that you start them with the letter I. Okay, it's not mandatory, but it's just pretty much common practice to do that. So I don't know how much more of this I'm even going to go through. This, like I said, might be a very, almost extremely short lecture. We'll go through this more in class than I am right here, but, you know, not, not even that much more, to be honest with you. So let's do this. Let's do this. Let me bring up, I'm going to try this. I have not, I have not seen whether or not this will work, but I think it will. So this was employee 02. All right. And I'm going to make a copy of this. And it's going to become, here'll be a surprise, employee 03 in just a minute. Okay, so, well, it did make a copy before, so let me get rid of that copy, and we'll use this one. All right, so this will be employee 03. All right, and I'll show you exactly what I'm going to do with this. All right, so let's open this. This is the same program we did before, and what I did was I uncommented all the individual ones and commented out the one that we did together as, at the end. Now, I want to look at these, and I'm going to start with hourly. And we said with hourly, <laughs> I'm going to come through, and with hourly, I'm going to make... Uh, min hours and it's going to be equal to zero m so really it'll be a constant so const decimal min hours equals zero m and i'm going to have const decimal max hours equal 84.0 m all right so that's the ones that we had from make that 0.0, .0 here you don't have to but I will anyway all right so that's and we had also const decimal uh, min rate and that's going to be equal to again 0, 0.0 M and const decimal max rate and that's going to be equal to 99.99 m all right so i've got those and let's see the next piece worker and for piece worker we said that we were going to have const uh, decimal min price per piece and that would be again 0, 0.0 M and const decimal max price per piece and that was going to be equal to 1.0 M. All right. In addition, we were going to have a const int that was going to be min pieces, pieces per hour. And that was going to be zero. 
and a const ints that had max pieces per hour, and that was going to be equal to 100. Now, no M's on there, none. And the reason for that is that they are integers. All right, so we've got two of these done. Let's do the other two. Next, we had our commission. And for that, we have a const decimal min commission rate. And that's equal to, z I think we said zero, did we not? Zero. So I'm just going to play a little game of, of let's line this stuff up. In fact, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so the minimum commission rate is again going to be 0 0.0m. Const decimal max commission rate. And that's going to be equal to, we said, uh, 0.5m. And we're going to have sales. And we had min sales, and that'll be equal to 0, M, and max sales, and that was, like I said, 10,000 M. All right. Now, we're almost done. We have left celery. And there's only the one in there. And that is the minimum salary, which is 100 grand. All right. So, const, const decimal min min salary equals one hundred thousand dollars m point zero zero m point zero m in this to point zero m all right now i'm just going to try to see if i can grab every bit of this these four these four these four and this one copy into the clipboard i'm going to come into my program here I'm going to right mouse click and I'm going to choose add. Now, I could choose class and just change the word from class to interface. I could do that. But I can also come in here and choose new item and show all templates, I guess. And you'll notice that there's interface. So I'm going to call this I constants. Big I, big C, O N S T A N T S dot C S. And you'll notice it says internal interface. I'm going to make it public again. All right. And I'm going to go and try to see if I can just paste in all this stuff that I just did. There it is. Now, I'm looking at this and it doesn't seem to like it. So let's see. It says, just grab any one of them here. Default interface implementation is not available in 7.3. Please use 8.0 or greater. Well, if we come down to here and we go to project and we go to our properties,
I don't know why we would have a problem with that. No flipping idea. Well, that would be an error. We can move that over. But I'm looking here just to see something that actually looks wrong. All right. Target runtime doesn't support default interface implementation. I'm going to try to grab. Well, let's look at this one. Sorry, we don't have the specifics on this error. Isn't that nice? How about the other error? Well, this is, the error is here. I didn't think this would be a problem, to be honest with you. This is 8370. There it is. 8370. Well, that's great. Basically, it's saying that it's not supported. Hmm. Well, let's look at this. I didn't think this would take any time at all. I thought I'd be done by now. So I'm going to put here, adding an interface file with constants to a C sharp program. Adding an image file, that's not what I want. How to associate constants? Maybe I need to put public in front of them. Let's look. See if that fixes anything. Well, it didn't, but let's put it there anyway. Let's put it in front of all these. So we now have all those in there. And we're still getting the same two things. The right way to use global constants. Do you have to declare a constant in an interface? Long story short. Can declare the constants and static read-only fields in interfaces.
know, I've never used literals before. Let's go look at that again. So public, just grab that. All right, let's see if that gives me an error. Doesn't like that either. The name literal does not exist in the current context. So that doesn't like that at all. How to create an interface file in a C sharp four point eight point two program. Well, this is from Microsoft itself. I don't think I could find anything probably better than that. All I want are constants, though. And I've done this before in other languages. So, well, containing constants. This is basically what I wanted to do. I don't think adding static is going to do diddly here. Didn't. <sighs> what if they weren't constants? Still doesn't like it. Interfaces cannot contain instance fields. An interface can contain methods and properties, but not fields. Well, I was then I was under a wrong assumption. I know that I've done this in other languages. For example, I've done this in Java. All right, and that's why I was hoping to just to be able to do the same thing here. And it is possible you can't. All right. So how to create an interface file containing constants. Let's just see if I can get that. Now that's Kotlin, so we don't want Kotlin. Um, how to create a C sharp interface file using containing constants. That's a Java example, a PHP example. Backed it up. Const in the definition. This is the one I tried and it didn't work.
If you want a place to store your constants, I would use a static class. Okay. Then at least, that is at least one common standard. C sharp doesn't allow constants in interfaces because a constant. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to make that a class instead of an interface and see if it takes that. It did. Okay, I want to put const back in here again. I've got that, not, not cost. I want const. All right, so that got rid of all my errors. Now, I want to change the name of this. So it was called I constant, constants. And we had all those problems, right? Excuse me, because it thought it was an interface. But now it's a class, so I am going to change the name. And I'm just going to call this constants. All right, now it took that. Now, the, the only thing is I'm not sure how to implement that in my other files. Okay, so I don't know if I can come in and do this using, see, there's no constants right there. So I could create the file. That is just fine. All right. C-sharp 8 now allows constants in an interface definition. But that's a big pain in the butt to have to go do all that stuff. Okay. How to share constants. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, because it's already 10 minutes or so. Well, it's 30 minutes into this, and I'm making a fool out of myself, sort of. I will tell you I've done this in Java without a problem, and I'm going to just do what I wanted to do anyway, but I'm going to do it without creating any kind of uh, class. So I'm going to get, I want to keep all these values, okay, but I'm going to bring them in to my program. All right. What do I mean? Well, I'm going to come up here to my hourly employee right here. And at the top, I'm going to add those. All right. Why am I adding those? Because what I'd like to do in here is in instead of using numbers like this i want to use here min hours and i want this to be max hours and i want this to be min rate and i want this to be max rate now, it looks like it took all those without any problem. All right. We'll see if it still works in just a couple of minutes. So file, save all. And let's go on to my piece worker. And in piece worker, 
let's grab these four. All right, and in here where I just was, I typed in constants. That's fine. All right, so up here for Peace Worker, I'm going to do the same thing. Constants. Oops. Okay. And now my hope is at least that I can come in here and change these. So this will be min price per piece, max price per piece. Oops, and that's got to be max price, price per piece. All right, this will be min pieces per hour. And this will be max pieces per hour. And this is wrong. This is min price per piece. All right, min price per piece, max price per piece. Min pieces per hour, max pieces per hour. Sounds good. So save all. Let's go back to here. Now we can get rid of these. Let's bring up the ones for commission. So I'm going to bring up my commission employee. And in here, I'm going to again come in and say constants. Paste those in. And then these will become min commission rate, max commission rate, oops, and this will be min sales. And max sales. Again, I not showing me any errors. So file save all. And finally, let's go over to our salaried employee. And we will add up here constant because it'll only be one. And that one will be what's left here, and that's this. And we want this to be, oh, did we have a min salary and a max salary? This will be min salary. In fact, let's make that max salary. So this will be, con I'm sorry, public const decimal max salary equals this. And min salary will be equal to. 0, 0.0 m and we'll line that up so it's nice and pretty there we go file save all now i can now get in come in here and get rid of this so this constant dot cs all right and i'm going to run the program again and see if i get any errors or if i get my same output and it looks like I was able to go in and put constants in there for all that. Now, I just told you that is not really the use of constants in a, uh, in a C-sharp program of interfaces to put constants in there. But what you can do is you can write the equivalent of another class or like an abstract class and as many of those as you want and you can add those but you don't make them classes you make them constants all right so sorry that was longer than i thought it would be but i'm going to come back in just a minute with chapter 16 so i'll see you in a bit